Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Hospital Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. Or I should say Quick Tips, because today I have a two for one special for you. Today we are going to be covering the uh, ever humble but ever important toilets. At the request of some of you, I might add. Uh, and I've got two different variations for you, uh, depending on your um, uh, toilet needs and available space. So let us review them. So the first one I have here is what I call the Lou by four, and as its name implies, it is a two by four uh, dimension here. Now, when laying it down here, you're gonna want the door here in the front, and you're actually gonna not want it on the square, one of the square tiles. You're gonna want it just right here, smack dab in the middle. Um, now for the toilet cubicles, we're gonna want to rotate them. Two on this side, backs to the wall. Two on this side, backs to the wall. Um, now, one other thing we're going to want to do is we're going to take the we're going to take the door and we're going to scooch it over just a smidge of meter, uh, a little off center. Yes, I know this is going to bother some people by having an ever so slightly off center door, but trust me, there's a reason for it. Um, we're going to grab ourselves a sink and we're going to uh, put it right back here, and we're going to grab ourselves a hand dryer and scooch it up to the door real close like that we're gonna to need to use the the hold down the control key to make it fit um, but that we want that in that order um, and afterwards we just throw down oh, let's say a tiny radiator here in the in the middle uh, or air conditioning depending on your map uh, and of course we need to uh, give people gold star awards congratulations you are a toddler and you did not poop on the floor or your pants so gold star award for you and you and you I'm not gonna bother spamming them to make it all the way up to level five people don't spend enough time in here as uh, to worry warrant the time effort and expense expenditure for that. Now, you might be saying, well, Pinstar, what's the, what's, what's the philosophy here? Isn't that a lot of toilets for only one sink and only one um, uh, hand dryer? Well, yes, it is, but you only really need about one sink and dryer for about every four toilets. That's because the animation um, uh, for somebody using the toilet is about four times as long as it is uh, for someone washing their hands. And when you have someone washing their hands, once they're done washing their hands, and they go off to dry their hands, they're, um, they're, that frees up the sink for the next person. So you can have, even if you have four people using the toilet simultaneously, people can form a very efficient little co quick conga line, wash hands, dry hands, get out of there. Um, and the fact that the dryer is close to the door means that we have much less wasted movement. They, regardless of which cubicle they go to, it goes up in here. Speaking of less wasted movement, the other hallmark of a good toilet block is that there is not much distance to be traveled to get to the toilet. If somebody needs to use the bathroom and they walk through the door, the amount of distance they have to walk to any of the four cubicles is minimal. Um, I've seen I've seen games where like the, the toilets are a long, um, like, you know, eight by two corridor and someone has to make the long trek down to the cube uh, down at the back. That wastes a lot of time and can slow the rest of your build down. Now, let's just say, well, first off, this, this, uh, the Lube I4 can handle quite a few people. Quite a few people. I use it extensively. Uh, but let's just say that you've got a main central building. There's a ton of people. Queues are overwhelming the Lube I4. You need something bigger and better. Well, I've got something bigger and better for you, my friends. I like to call this, if we were to take the uh, the size of the Lou by four, the two by four, we bump each up one, we get a five by three. This, my friends, is what I like to call the maternity ward. This thing has a much, much higher capacity of toilets. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna uh, take our, our our toilets here, but actually we don't st we don't want to actually don't want to start with the toilets. We actually want to start with the sinks, and we want to put one sink on that side, one sink on that side, uh, just so. Now we're going to um, now notice you can't when you have a sink like that you can't put the toilet cubicle here, but. Our friend the control button, take it off the grid a little bit and move it over just a smidge of meter. Because this is, you have to be real tight with this build because this is a, a tightly compacted bathroom, but very efficient. 
Uh, same thing goes with here. You want it in the back and then just move it over just until you're allowed to get away with it. Um, now up here at the top, we're gonna wanna just dot them along here. We uh, are able to fit in extra, extra toilets here, just like that. Um, now over here, we are going to want to do the same thing um, with one toilet. Uh, let's see here. Come on, don't don't get sticky on me. You know what? Nobody likes a sticky bathroom. Now, um, again with the door, we are going to be doing the obnoxiously off-centered door here. It's not going to be square in the middle of anything. It's going to be kind of offset. But there's a reason for it, other than just to annoy some people. Um, and that is hand dryer. So one hand, before we even move the drawer, we're going to take a hand dryer. We're going to nuzzle this up as close as we can get away with to this cube over here. We are then going to take the door and nuzzle it as close as we can get away with to here. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. And that should allow us to get a second hand dryer over here. Viola. We've got ourselves eight toilets, uh, double, twice as many uh, toilets uh, than the Lou by four, um, which is slightly more tile efficient since this is eight tiles versus 15. Um, and still enough, you know, hand washing throughput to get people's hands clean and also get them to the door on their way out. And of course, all we're going to need is a nice little something here. Because this room kind of naturally bisects it, I'm going to put it like right here in front of the door, or at least as close to the front of the door as I can get. And of course, everybody gets gold star awards. Yay, successfully using the toilet like a grown adult. Good job. All right, folks. So that is the maternity ward. Now, if uh, the maternity ward starts getting overwhelmed, well, um, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I, I, I'm, I'm afraid your pro your hospital has bigger problems than what I can solve with a with a simple bathroom. You've got bigger fish to fry at that point, my friends. Um, now there is actually a third build, quote unquote, or it's more of a design philosophy. I've seen bandered about. I've tested it a little bit. I'm not a fan of it, but I want to alert you to its existence. And that is the nappy special. What's the nappy special? No bathrooms. No bathrooms. The idea is that by not offering bathrooms, your your uh, patients are not going to wander off to go use them and therefore delay their cues. That does work, but it's high risk, high reward. Well, more moderate reward. The high risk comes in the fact that if you can keep your patients like breezing through your hospital, if they don't hit a queue anywhere, you can get someone in the hospital diagnosed and treated and out the door before their bladder fills up once. But as soon as any cue shows up anywhere in your hospital, and even using the most advanced tricks, you're, you're probably going to be getting cues at some point. Then the apocalypse will happen and it go, things go from bad to worse quickly. So I would not necessarily recommend the nappy special. Just be more mindful of where you place your bathrooms. Uh, so if you guys like these tips and uh, you want to see more like them, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share them with a friend if you know someone playing the game who is struggling. Uh, so until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!